Now, Dr. Archer, there are differences between male and female killers. Let's begin to get into that right off the top. What are those differences? Well, first of all, men are 10 times more likely to murder than women are. And when we look at the motives, they're vastly different. Men typically kill for money, revenge, and power. And with women, it's about love. Either someone they have loved, someone they currently love, their kids. So it's much more emotional when it comes to women. Yeah, and Dr. Archer, again, I want to break it down even a little further because, um, you know, the way I think about it is men act out and women act in. Would you agree that's just sort of a general trend? Yeah, I think so. I think that women tend to be more uh, introspective, more reflective than men. Well, are. not even reflective, not even reflective person. so much as they take things out. They, they have eating disorders and they cut and they commit suicide while men commit violent acts. Now, I want to look at some two basic different categories of killers, though. There's psychotic killers, which is what I think our killer was in Colorado, where he was disconnected from reality. By psychotic, we mean a brain state where somebody is delusional and hallucinating and disconnected from reality. Let's look at, I want to shine up on the board here, a list of recently documented male versus female psychotic killers. There's a list there. Look at that list of men in blue versus the list of purple in women. Now, blue, the blue there shows you how many more men there are, psychotic killers, than women. And the women, if you look at who is on that list, is people like Andrea Yates. Even, Dr. Archer, again, to go to you, even when the women are killers, oftentimes it's under extremely special biological circumstances like postpartum depression. Is that accurate? Well, all right, in her case, postpartum depression. And again, I mean, these are her children. So these are pe the, uh, love does come into it in this particular case. But yeah, your list is fascinating. It really highlights that very thing. And now let's look at psychopathic killers. Now, a psychopath is, is born and created. There's some kind of involvement. We're going to talk more about that in the next segment. Psychopathic killers, again, more men than women. The thinking is that the genetics of psychopathy, where the brain doesn't work and people cannot experience empathy and they become fascinated with murder, more men, but still a fair number of women, often in combination with their, ma their male partners. The women get involved and become serial killers with the men, again, Dr. Archer, with a loved object, then they become the serial killer. Absolutely. And uh, again, making the distinction between the serial killer, which is going out and killing one person after another, after another <coughs> versus the mass murderer who is doing this all in one fell swoop, one act. Do you have a theory about our killer in Colorado, Dr. Archer? I do. I, I, I would be shocked to find out that he was not psychotic. I mean, everything that I've seen leading up to this killing spree indicates a guy that was relatively normal up until about six months before the event. Then he started withdrawing socially. He dropped out of school, even though he's on a very prestigious uh, scholarship that was only given to six people in the country. So he's extremely smart. Uh, you, you look at the uh, gun a club that he tried to join and the guy saying, man, you know, when I called on his voicemail, it was like this rambling uh, message that really scared me. One of the neuroscience professors said that he started becoming eerily quiet and seemed socially off. So just one thing after another, this indicates to me a guy who was gradually becoming psychotic, having a psychotic break. And of course, we never know what they're going to fixate on. In his right. particular case, he fixated on Batman and evil and killing and his fantasy then turned into reality. And then, Jane, now that we have this guy that's descended into madness, people are questioning this methodical way in which he proceeded with the killings. It does look like, in addition to madness, there may have been something else going on. I have a question, though, for you, Jane. There's a movement afoot not to mention this guy's name so as not to gratify his narcissism. Is that a policy you adhere to? Um... We have to report the facts, Dr. Drew, and sometimes the facts include the defendant and the suspect's name. So that's not a policy that I've been able to adhere to, but I understand the spirit behind the policy that to glorify these individuals by giving them the attention that they may be desiring, maybe self-perpetuating the problem or perpetuating the problem. So I do think we have to look at our culture of violence. The fact that, as I wrote about in Attic Nation, we are an addictogenic culture, and one of the things that we are culturally addicted to is violence. We use it as entertainment, and then we are horrified and haunted when it comes back in real life is it a closed system is there a connection between the drug
drenching violence in our culture in terms of entertainment, in terms of infotainment, and the violence in real life? Um, I would suspect there is because the subconscious mind perceives pretend violence very much as it does real violence. That's why we flinch at movies. I don't have any proof of it, but I think we need to look at it. And Jane, our preoccupation with fame in this culture and the wonder if this guy's narcissism was somehow gratified by that in addition to his madness. And that's why this methodical, disgusting quality to these killings. I want to go to calls. Donna in Wisconsin. Donna, what do you got? Hello, Dr. June. Hey, Donna. I love your show. Thank you. Um, my question is, if he is mentally ill, how was he able to plan to set up for months at a time? That's, that is the million-dollar question here. I'm going to throw that to Dr. Archer. Can we surmise that this guy was psychotic for three months while he was planning so methodically to kill many people? Yes, we absolutely can, because... First of all, it was early on in his psychosis. Second of all, a psychotic brain is able to fixate and focus on one thing at times very, very specifically, very cleanly, and to the exclusion of all else. And I think that's the key. Basically, he had given up everything else in his life, so the only thing he had to focus on was the planning and the committing of these murders. Wow. And the answer is yes, a psychotic brain can do that. Again, it's so chilling. It is so chilling. Gail in Georgia. Gail, you got something for us? Yeah, I, Dr. Drew, I'd like to know, do you think this guy stayed at that theater just so he could see the chaos and the pain that he caused instead of trying to get away from the cops? You know, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to let Dr. Archer respond to that, too, that he, again, you, you think about people, like, remember here in Los Angeles in the Valley, that we had these bank killers that, that they were all suited up in armor, and they had a shootout. They, they were bad guys and intended to steal money, intended, intended to kill cops. I think this guy really was so disorganized and psychotic. Dr. Archer, what do you think? Why did he stay behind? Well, I think, first of all, he didn't expect to live. And second of all, remember, he'd been planning this for months, and... He didn't think anything through after the event. Exactly. So he went yeah. in there, he shot and killed all these people, and then it was over, and it was like, oh, wow, what now? So right. he really didn't know what to think at that point. I, I think that is, up. yeah. I think that is very much the point. I think that, the, again, that's, but it's a brain that's disordered, and it's the disordered brain. Again, I, even as a clinician, I'm telling you, I'm having trouble letting go of how angry I am uh, about this behavior, even though I understand it as illness disordered brain what do we do with it these are really interesting questions